Hey guys, it's Rich here again at the Ultra Motorsports Warehouse in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Uh, we are taking a look at this 1962 uh, Pontiac Bonneville convertible for one of our um, prospective buyers. And just like all of our videos, we'll just kind of do a, a walk around and give a, a buyer's perspective of the car, pointing out any imperfections that we can see and um, just so the consumer has uh, all the information uh, available to them. So uh, first look at the chrome on this car at the driver's side uh, front quarter pan or front fender, excuse me. Um, chrome looks very, very nice. Uh, just a little dusty right now. But chrome looks very nice. I don't see any blemishes or imperfections in the chrome. Um, a lot of this this has a little bit of um, some s real slight surface stuff kind of on it probably be steel wooled out but you can see I'm, I'm only 12 inches away from the car right now and it, it looks very very nice certainly better than just driver quality for what most people's standard would be uh, we painted this car I bought this car in Arizona it was a Texas car I have some documentation saying it's from Texas this car was black uh, it's originally supposed to be a white car we painted it back to white and uh, also um, redid the trunk because the work that was done in the trunk was a little a little shoddy so we redid, redid the paint trunk and then we had the, the engine were completely rebuilt and the engine compartment done also while we were in there and then everything's working and operating as it should um, air conditioned car and it's a uh, uh, power windows power steering power brake so pretty nice car as we look down the body line of the car everything looks very very nice down the body line um, I don't see any blemishes in the paint obviously you can tell here that uh, we um, the the car was taken completely apart to be to be painted. Uh, you can see here, you know, there's no tape lines or anything goofy like that. Um, the chrome down the sides, all this looks really nice on this side. Um, I see maybe one little pit right here. You can see it. Um, and then as we look down low on the rocker, no blemishes or bubbles or anything like that. Uh, again, you can tell the car was taken apart, no tape lines or anything like that here, nothing like that here. Everything was disassembled on the car. All the belt molding in here looks very fresh and very nice. Uh, this gasket here, you know, one that most people leave by the wayside, um, this is all fresh and nice. Got a couple little pits right here, you can see them in the chrome. And then we'll go ahead and look down the rest of the car. All this looks real nice, um, very nice. Uh, quarter panel also. So as we move on down, I don't see any imperfections in the body that way. Everything looks great. Uh, I went ahead and popped the trunk on this car just so you guys could see it. Um, the, uh, the trunk on this car is um, completely redone. You can see here, uh, re-spattered and then just like it's supposed to be, you know, you can't see any seams in here or anything like that. The, the last trunk that was in was like several pieces. Uh, you can see this mat was in there probably. This stuff is water-based. If it doesn't get clear-coated over, sometimes it kind of bleeds through. Um, and, yeah, like you can see here also, just that's surface stuff. Probably needs clear-coated over. Um, but you can see here, you know, no seams in the trunk. That's the the biggest the point that I want to want to get at. So, all right. <clears throat> okay. Trunk gaps look good. I mean, you know, um, nice, not concourse. Could certainly be adjusted, maybe a little. Uh, rear chrome looks great. Lenses look good. Uh, the um, all this uh, trim work back here looks very nice. The Bonneville uh, logo looks good. Chrome's just a little dusty, <clears throat> you can see here. But all this stuff looks great, okay? Moving down the passenger side of the car, you can see everything looks very nice. Um, some of this stuff, it looks like maybe there's some maybe pits in some of this, just little bitty pits. Again, it looks, I'm two feet away from the car and it's real hard to tell, 
but you know, as you get a little closer, you can see a couple of pits. This vehicle has eight lug wheels, aluminum wheels. That's a really kind of cool thing that Pontiac did and um, definitely a benefit uh, for the car. So as we move down the um, passenger side, again, like I said, look, this is brand new. I mean, all this stuff looks just very nice. All this weather strip here, uh, all this belt molding in here looks great. I'm talking about these soft pieces. In here, you know, all this stuff is fresh and new and just looks good. Top of the window frame, just some, you know, little hazing and scratching from the convertible top sitting up on it. But evident the car was taken apart for sure when it was painted. No signs anywhere that it was ever a black car, that's for sure. Okay, you know, painted over all the bolt or uh, um, disassembled all those bolts and stuff. Weather stripping was all off the car when it was done. So, uh, as we look down this trim piece, everything looks great. Again, maybe, I don't know, I, I can't really see any right now, but there might be one or two little, maybe one or two pits in it. Car runs and drives like a sewing machine. Really nice stand-up piece. Front bumper looks great. No issues that way. <clears throat> Engine compartment, uh, I mean, definitely fit to be raised the hood in any car show. So pretty pleased with the way this turned out. PHS documented car. And like I said, we, this is, we had all this out. This car was all black. I mean, someone had it completely apart, painted it black. Uh, I bought it and I thought, you know what? This car is supposed to be white. Let's make it white. And it turned out real nice. No, no evidence whatsoever the car was black ever. I mean, you know, look, look at, compare this to other cars when you go look at cars. And a lot of times guys will just paint over that kind of stuff or, I mean, I've seen guys paint over this kind of stuff, which is really, and this stuff, which is crazy. So, everything looks real stand up. AC blows cold. And that's kind of the walk around of the outside. Um, what we'll do is, in the next video, we'll take a look at the inside. And then, uh, probably, the, uh, we'll take a, a brief look at the underneath also. Again, this is Rich at the Ultra Motorsports Warehouse, checking out this 1962 Pontiac Bonneville convertible.